Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Timmy and in this video we would like to talk about uh, this guy here and the new game mode, the new set and the first look, what you should um, pay attention to and uh, describe it kind of a bit, yeah? So that being said, let's start with the game mode first. So this is about eight hours ago, something like that was launched. So um, you click on the map and you see this building right here. So, uh, you're starting here and you keep doing those quests and you're going to get some, some tickets. And um, this is the first and most important question actually uh, here. Because um, as you can see here in this picture, um, these tickets right here have a different, um, different icon. So pay attention to that. So if you get an icon like that, you can enter this building again and you see me, I have it on tier, tier 2. So what you're doing is uh, you keep doing this quest. This quest you cannot, um, this game modes, this small gate modes, uh, like steps, um, cannot be repeated. As you can see, nothing happens when I click on them. And as soon as you pass by, you you're gonna get uh, you you can get tickets from them too, and you can also get modules actually, and you can actually get those uh, boxes too. And as you can see, I have reached here. So now I have zero boxes because I am have two stars, two stars. Two stars, one star. But for this, I am gonna need this one. And it's not just a ticket, it's a ticket with this kind of icon on. So yeah, pay attention. Where do you get that? Um, thank God you have me, because the board doesn't explain you that. It's here, and it's actually gonna appear um, here downstairs. <clears throat> so every now and then, <clears throat> sorry for that. Every now and then, come here and uh, check it out what you got. And you can see if you can, uh, get a ticket to, to carry on. Because theoretically, they said you can do this all day, yeah? But um, the point is they don't say how to get the ticket. Um, this game mode in general, just a quick um, tip on this one, you're gonna have a skill here on the, when you, when you launch the, the battle or the event somewhere here, a skill which has a, I don't know, three, four, five seconds um, uh, regen. Just always click on it and make sure you're close to opponents so you can kill them fast. And some of the events, you actually have to kill as many as possible. Now, is this is very early to say if is that actually makes a huge difference or not. But, uh, this get mode to actually kill as many as possible. Theoretically, you get every time you get loot. So yeah. That being said, we close on this um, game mode. Uh, just a quick um, follow up. The game kind of selects um, which of the heavy trooper are stronger. And you can see mine, it's already after eight hours, it's a bit building. But I, I will gonna explain you right now how, I, how I've done it. So two days uh, before that, when I saw the message, um, I actually gathered some boxes. And um, some of these boxes are still, uh, I got actually from the playing this uh, little event, like this exp uh, expedition. Now I keep insisting, guys, pay attention to all these informations. Open five by five, or you see me sometimes trying four, depending on the number. As you can see here, I got the gold one. Uh, you don't necessarily need to wait till the big jackpot there. Of course, it's gonna give you something. But till then, if you're wise, you can get something. So just don't open all at once every time. Open two, open one, just wait. So we're gonna wait a bit right here to see, um, so you guys see all the pools because you're gonna see me also getting some modules, a few of them, yeah? Now, um, if I remember correctly, I got, I think, one or two models from the uh, game mode itself. So, um, this is how I end up, like, already after eight hour, having uh, seven out of nine. So, let's have a look at one point. Um, I'm gonna get um, the module too, I think, from the purple. Uh, of course, the higher the box color, the bigger, there we go, there's one. But I actually got that one from the from the quest itself. Now, uh, two of these I used, but the chest I actually got from, um, I remember correctly, I got it from the, um, from the game mode itself. So I keep opening five by five and you can see what I get. Uh, and you, uh, I okay, don't, don't, don't start crying on me, uh, to cry on me. You really saw me on, on, uh, on a green, or what is, or was on blue, I got uh, actually a yellow one, so yeah. We're gonna have a look later if it's worth it or not. Yeah, so here's another one, which is pointless. Yeah, that was a pointless pool, yeah? Now, let's make a difference between these two type of um, heavy troopers. 
Now you can see right here, this button here says this trooper does uh, uh, devastating uh, attacks. And this one is kind of defined as being very good in defense. Why is that? Yeah, this is the answer is right here. Is because he has HP and he actually has this um, skill to protect two units left and right. That's why he is considered to be best performance in defensing in defense. Sorry, and this one saying is gonna be um, very very good for attacking. Now uh, let's take a look at the as his skills here. So the first one you know uh, you can switch between um, the unit types. You must switch. You should switch. At, Let's leave uh, shoot away. You must switch, yeah? Second one, um, uh, you can get three attacks, uh, but the attacks are only gonna have 5%, uh, uh, only 35%, so we actually do 105% uh, more damage, that's good. We have here um, an ice gear which gives his uh, attack bonus goes up by 50%, so slowly, of course, the higher the better. So the damage goes up 10%, but his HP goes down to 10%. Um, the bonus uh, goes up to 80%, and when uh, he goes into battle, both his own hits and the hit bonuses of the units with the same military type, that's why you have to switch, yeah? You're gonna go up with another 15%. So that's why it's important to make, pay attention what kind of unit uh, you defined this heavy trooper to be in your case, yeah? So. Um, this is a very, very interesting skill because most, especially for you guys which have Megatron with only um, level 5 because he needs a, vulner a vulnerability to hit even uh, harder. So uh, this is a very good one. And the last one, um, it's actually negating the jammer. Yeah, the jammer is, let's take a look at it, is the gear, but uh, not right away from the start. So at one point can negate it. So we're talking about um, where's my gear about this so it's gonna negate this yeah so but not right from the start is he has to be 60% uh, um, uh, health or something like that so he will negate this now um, in this case for this uh, heavy trooper he's gonna hit uh, way harder than the old heavy trooper or the defending heavy trooper we had till now and um, that's kind of important that's that's pretty good yeah so yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's carry on with the set, yeah. So um, I put some stuff on, and yeah, there's nothing, um, yeah, impressive. But 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 so first of all, I don't have a purple one or, or a yellow one to show you. Um, they actually um, this uh, bonus here. When the heavy trooper attacks the enemy with a regular attack, he has a forty percent chance. Yes, he has a four. It's pretty high to. To hit 90% harder and if that attacker is going to be a crit he's going to hit 100% harder so it's going to hit pretty hard now this sounds huge it can be huge if you're lucky because in a normal fight um, we're talking about what two to maximum three hits from you have a trooper by that time he's going to be dead so um, it's a huge it's a huge buff uh, you need the, the luck of course 40% is pretty high it's pretty high but again um, your heavy trooper won't hit more than um, two or three times, yeah, depending on your luck and how your enemy, which slots your enemy is gonna hit you and so on. So, um, so this set looks great, even if this is a blue item in the middle. So where do we go here? What's the most important thing about this set? So let's say the set is good, but what do I, what do I, uh, what am I looking for here? And some of you guys may know some of you guys may not know uh, which is sad because I have so many um, I have so many videos about it so we're looking actually for this yeah so we always gonna look for this yeah so don't panic again if you see my videos if you follow my channel you actually saw me uh, playing I guess a guy with a blue one having more uh, high fire rate than me with two purple so yeah it's luck based, we're kind of all in this together. So uh, again, most important is um, get three of these stats. Um, um, for these three slots, you need the attack uh, speed. It's, it's imminent, yeah? Now, when it comes to this, <clears throat> it's a kind of a compromise, yeah? What you're happy with. But let me give you an example right here. Because you say, oh my God, he has purple. Now this, 
If I would have a possibility to give it to you for free, trust me, I would give. Yeah. So uh, the chip would have four stats in total. The first two are shit. Yeah. I mean, real shit. If I would have a chance to give you this for you to you for free, I will give it. But I will also be very correct and tell you, okay, you know what? Use it to level up something. Yeah. Don't use it. Yeah. Because right off the bat, we have two stats. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, absolute crap. Yeah, good. That being said, I hope you guys understood a bit. It's uh, the first eight hours, so um, we, we wait a bit. We're gonna test a bit. I'm, I'm gonna upload uh, uh, more uh, videos about this subject. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share your channel, watch this video till the end, guys. I mean, if you don't watch it till the end, it's not my fault that you guys still uh, slacking around. Yeah. That being said, have a have a good uh, day, guys, and I will see you in the next one.